<clears throat> Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining in this video. Uh, so today I just want to touch upon the few problems or many problems in life that come up from time to time because of the influence of particular planets in our horoscope. Okay. And, uh, you know, an astrologer is just like a doctor, okay? A doctor diagnoses a patient based on the symptoms of illnesses. So similarly, the astrologer must try to summarize the problems of life and the planets related to them, okay? So just like doctors have to, you know, go through health checkup reports to reach a conclusion, even astrologers have to go through the horoscope to come to, you know, to a particular conclusion. Right. So, you know, before we go into this, <clears throat> go into this topic of, you know, of planets and the problems of life, I just uh, want to make an appeal for, uh, you know, a person, a gentleman named uh, Debajyoti Adhya. He is from Kolkata and he is facing a lot of, you know, medical problems as well as, you know, as well as problems related to his mother okay he is left to fend for himself despite his medical illnesses and he does not have enough finances to pay his medical bills so i request each and every one of you who is watching this to kindly help mr debajyoti adhya in your own capacity so that he can overcome his problems related to his finances as well as his medical bills as well as that of his mother uh, the details of Deva Jyoti Adhya will be shared in the description box below. Kindly help the gentleman out. He is really in dire straits. Okay. Now let's get to the topic of this of this video. So we look at various problems that people face from time to time, and uh, you know we'll also try to look at which you know, which planet is primarily responsible for those problems. Okay. But then. You must go through the horoscope in details to come to the conclusion. Okay, don't you know? Don't judge a problem on the basis of a single planet alone. Okay, so we'll be looking at various classifications of various areas so you can find a problem. Okay, so the first problem that you know, and uh, all these classifications are based on you know on the primary questions that I face as a part of my consultations. All right. So if you're facing problems, so the first problem that most people come to me with is the problem with your career, right? So if you're not getting jobs for a long time, then the planet responsible for it is Jupiter. If you are changing, if you find yourself changing jobs frequently, then the problem, the planet responsible for it is either Sun or Mercury or Rahu, depending upon the nature of affliction. If you're having a problem with your seniors at the workplace, it is a problem of Sun or Mercury. If you're having a problem with juniors at your workplace, it is a problem of Saturn. If you're a victim of politics in job, then it is a problem of Rahu or Venus. If you're facing sudden terminations or resignations, it is a problem of the nodes. That means it is either Rahu or Ketu causing the problem. If you are getting unfavorable transfers to other places as a part of your work, that is a problem with the moon. If you're facing long pending promotions that are not happening due to certain reasons, it is a problem of Jupiter or Mars. Then the second category of problems that I often find clients you know, coming to me with is the problem with, of business. So if you're facing heavy losses in business, then you know the problem is with Mercury or Rahul. If you are having piling debts in your business, it is a problem of Mercury or Sun. If you're facing shortage of clients in your business, it's a problem of Saturn or Ketu. And if you find yourself, you know, surrounded by huge expiry of products, for example, if you are running, you know, if you're running a business where products come at an expiry date and you're not able to sell those products before the expiry date, you know, that is a problem of Venus. Okay. Then people also come with a lot of relationship problems. Okay. So if you are having <clears throat> a delayed marriage, especially if you're a female, then it's a problem of Jupiter or Sun. 
if you're having a delayed marriage and if you're a male then it's a problem of mean moon or venus okay moon or venus if you're facing problems with divorce then again the nodes are primarily responsible for it so it is rahu or ketu if you're facing a separation from life partner in case of a female it is a problem of mercury or sun in case of a male it is a problem of moon or venus if you're finding trouble getting a boyfriend or a male friend you know it is a problem of mars or venus if you're finding trouble in getting a girlfriend or a female friend it is a problem of sun or moon <laughs> if you are facing cheating and betrayals in your relationships or in your marriage it is a problem of mercury or rahu or mars if it is a problem with female in laws it's an issue with venus if it is a problem with male in laws it's a promise of mercury or saturn if it is a problem with health all right many people you know come to me with health problems as well so if you're facing problems due to poor digestion or overeating it's a problem of venus if you are facing issues with overweight it's a problem of mars okay people think that it is a problem with jupiter but no it's a problem with mars if you're facing problems due to you know weakness then again it's a problem of mars if you're facing mental problems it's a problem with rahu or moon if you're having problems due to laziness it is ketu or jupiter if you are facing constant injuries or if you are very prone to injuries it's a problem of mercury if you're having poor memory it's a problem of moon and if you're having poor concentration then it is a problem with rahu okay now regarding you know regarding general problems if you're facing overall unrest in life it's a problem of moon or sun if you are getting a problem with fame and recognition in the society it is a problem with sun or mars okay if you are facing a problem getting success in competitive examinations it is a problem with moon if you are keen in foreign settlements but you are facing problems related to it it's a issue with jupiter if you are facing loss in litigations it is a problem with rahu or ketu if you are facing failure in politics it's a problem with moon or saturn and if you are not you know if you have been trying to shift to your own house or if you are living in a rented place and you're trying to shift to your own house but not you know getting an impetus to shift or getting the opportunity to shift it's a problem with moon or mars okay so you know various remedies come for these problems and uh, the remedies are to be personalized okay there are no you know there is no single remedy that fits everyone or that can fit everyone okay so it's very important to have personalized remedies and if you're facing any of these problems as i mentioned due to these various planets kindly reach out for a consultation and i'll be really really happy to help you out all right so that's it from me in this video i'll see you soon in yet another video namaste om guru venamaha